Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So just recently we took up our 17th five star to rank five on the same level up event. And now we're about to take up our 18th five star to rank five. And once again, we're able to double dip. The advancement that's on influenced which class I was gonna choose and it is going to be a mystic. And I am going to choose the hood. All right. So you can see here, got the resources. I'm scrolling up because people were wondering where the T2 alphas were and why I didn't need to use T2 alphas. You always need to use T2 alphas uh, to rank five. Uh, a champion. It's just that by default, this is what it'll look like when you have a gem. You don't get to see the T2 Alpha unless you scroll up. All right, so without further ado, let's hit it. And with that, the hood is my 18th rank five five star. And I'm going to use up these guys here because I Otherwise, I'm just going to sell them and I don't need the gold. I do not recommend you guys doing this because uh, it is not efficient. There we go. Now, while I'm ranking him up, I'll tell you why I chose him. I have Ghost. And I almost always pair Ghost up with my Wasp and with the Hood. And he has actually saved me in some pretty dire circumstances. And he was only rank four. And I kept thinking, man, if I had him at rank five, the fight would have gone faster and it would have gone better. Um, he is actually a good champion in his own right. People have used him against the champion boss in 6.2.6. It's a longer fight, but he can do it. So he's actually a pretty good champion. And we're going to take a look at him very briefly. And then we'll uh, take a look at some gameplay for him. All right, here we go. And there we have it. So let's take a look now at his attributes here. Uh, hopefully you saw his attributes earlier um, as a rank four. Uh, I can't remember if I showed you guys that, um, but we didn't go into this. Here we go. And we'll take a look at his synergies. So you guys can see what synergies, not too many, nothing uh, too spectacular. And let's take a look at his abilities. Mine is level 80 SIG. All right, and take a look here. He actually doesn't have a lot to have to pour through. All right, so with that, we are going to get into some gameplay so that you guys can see a little bit about what he can do. Now, instead of going into Realm of Legends and fighting Winter Soldier, which doesn't showcase the Hood's abilities at all and is boring, I decided to go into Variant and fight on a rage node. So this first fight is gonna be against Corvus. Now Hood, with every hit, uh, has a chance to place a stagger, and that's gonna eat up the next buff, which is great for the rage node, because when I do manage to hit a crit and hit pretty hard, then the stagger will eat that rage up and I'll never get all the way up to where he's unblockable. Now, I want to show you this. See this here? Now, Corvus hits very hard. He can crit through your block. And one of the things that I don't like about the hood is his invisibility messes me up. With my fighting style, I do a parry and then I attack. But when he's invisible, I can go for a parry and they can miss. And that throws me off, throws my timing off. And then there's only a chance that they'll miss when he is invisible. So what happens in the end 
is I take a lot of block damage. And against Corvus, that hurts. So fighting the way that I normally fight, not a good idea. You want to do more intercepts and, and things like that to reduce all of that block damage, chip damage that you may take. You know, bait out these specials like you see me doing here towards the end. All right, now with Corvus, of course, he is in immune while the glaive charges are up, but you can finish him with a special because a special knocks him down, damages the glaive, uh, his glaive, so he can be killed. All right, now, you're only gonna see the ending of this fight because I did not do well against Ebony Maw with the hood. It's not a good fight for him. This particular node, um, it is rage, but Ebony Maw's abilities just wrecked me. And as you saw, he went through my entire group. All I wanted to do was get to the next fight after this one. And he took down everyone. So I said, all right, fine. I'll go back in here with Hood and finish him off. Uh, what ended up happening is I went in first with Hood and I got him down to almost like one third of his health. And then he started wrecking me. And so I just went ahead and uh, had some technical difficulties, if you know what I mean. Um, we recovered, tried it again. It didn't work out even as well as the first time did. So I just said, never mind. I'm going to take him out with some others. And you can see the results. Only the hood was left. So this final fight in this particular quest is gonna be against Captain Marvel movie. She's got the rage, she's got the breakthrough. And you saw I healed up uh, a little bit here, maxed myself out so that, just in case, because when I'm fighting Captain Marvel, she is so aggressive. And you see here, she's not throwing her special. All right, she's waiting for me to dash back. All right, very aggressive. You have to dash back many times and then any point in time, she can just suddenly fire off her special all right so we got the special out of her that time and we evaded it just fine right and hood is going to work all right look at that everything is going just fine now the other thing about hood is on his special two he will nullify buffs and he will make it so that they cannot create any buffs for a while and you saw there i almost got wrecked all right just look at her um, she caught me with a special one, but I evaded all the others. She went binary, but I'm not concerned with that. Uh, you also notice that he has a power steal when his invisibility is on cooldown. And down she goes. But there is more. I didn't continue on in this particular quest because there were no more rage nodes. Uh, that Miles Morales is not on a rage node. So I went back to Act 5, Quest 4, and went to 4, or Chapter 4, Quest 4. Because there is a rage path in here, and I remember coming in here and using Dr. Voodoo, who is a beast, for this. Now, that went by really quickly, but I saw a full energy refill. So I'm like, okay... Hopefully that's on this path that I'm on. It looked like it. I hate the camera being locked. I really do. But it's locked, so I couldn't scroll up to see if that was it. Uh, now, you saw that he had rage, but there's also that special one unblockable mess. And I forgot about it later on. But for this fight, I was ready. So you see he's staggering him. Um, he's not able to build up those Furies. Now, you'll notice that even though the special one was unblockable, you can evade the first part and block the second part. That's how we were able to do that. And you'll see me do that uh, more than once in this fight. All right, now I pushed him to a special two. It's dangerous because sometimes the computer acts crazy. But here we go. I was able to evade the special two no problem that time all right and now my invisibility is on cooldown so that's where you see the power steal 
All right, a little power control. And there you go. I evaded the first part of the special one again. And then blocked the next part. And then evaded that very last part. His special one puts that nice shock debuff on them. All right. Hood is, is pretty decent. All right. I like him. And since I'm always carrying him around with Ghost, it just made sense. Uh, I have Wasp as a six star. So I'm not going to rank up the uh, five star Wasp. Uh, so she'll remain rank four. But I could take Hood up. All right. Now, this fight is kind of funny. Uh, I forgot, like I mentioned earlier, that his special one is unblockable. I don't think I'm... I'm trying to remember if it's this fight or the next fight. It may not be this fight. I know I messed up here because I pushed him to his special two by accident. That was it. I pushed him to his special two by accident and I completely forgot how to evade that. It has been a long time since I fought Kang. He used to be my nemesis and he wrecked me pretty hard the first time I had to deal with him in uncollected mode. I mean, it was bad, but we know how to fight him now, but see here, and then wham, I got caught. And I was like, oh my goodness. And you see how aggressive he was? He followed up that very quickly, but it's all good. I got him down anyway. I'm hurt, but I'm game. So I'm still going. And I get over here and I'm like, oh yeah, there goes that energy refill. So nothing is going to stop me from getting that energy refill. But since this is a video about the hood, I wanted to go in here with hood. All right. Now, this first special one, I don't know what I did, um, but I was off. All right. Look at that. I evaded back too early. All right. So I, I thought I was dead there, honestly. But I was like, no, I'm not going out like this. I've had to fight this guy and he was tougher in other situations. No, not going to go down like that. All right. So here we go. Now I'm concentrating, focused. Uh-huh. There goes that special one that he got me with the first time. Nope. We're not going out like that. This is a hood. This is the hood's world. You're just a squirrel trying to get a nut. So what's up? All right. And here we go to finish him off and he's down. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment, and let me know what you thought about the video. And yep, I got that energy refill. I told you I would. And you all have a blessed day.